We're going to take a look now at implementing case statements in MDX queries. But before we address the code itself here, uh, you do have two types of case statements available in MDX. One is known as the simple case statement, and the other is known as a searched case statement. So we'll focus on the simple for this demonstration, but I have the searched uh, ready to go in this code here. So we'll compare the two in the upcoming demonstration. So for starters, when it comes to any case statement, uh, what they allow for is a little more flexibility in terms of the logical tests that you can issue. If you think about an immediate if, for example, you basically only have two choices. You can perform a logical test and you can decide what to do if that test evaluates to true or what to do if the test evaluates to false. That's pretty much all you have. Now, it should be mentioned that you can nest if statements, but that gets a little too far into the complexity and uh, additional processing. So a better solution if you need more than two options is the case statement. This allows you to specify any number of cases uh, with respect to the logical tests. So what we're doing here to begin with is using our with member statement simply to define a new measure. In this case, it's simply going to be testing against the internet order quantity measure. Now this right here is actually the definition uh, or the characteristic, I guess I should say, of a simple case statement. You issue the, the measure that you are testing uh, along with the case statement itself. In other words, you see, you see our case statement there, and then you specify which measure you want to evaluate right there in the case declaration. From that point, you see our when values and you can have as many as you want and then once you test against that value you then tell it okay what is the result going to be so in this case i'm testing for values in the order quantities and if it meets that value then i'm telling it in this case that that surpassed my expectations and i'm comparing it uh comparing it excuse me against the country so if it's this value, that surpasses my expectations. When it's this value, it's below my expectations. When it's this value, it meets my expectations. And then an else, which is sort of a catch-all that says, well, I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to evaluate that further, so I'm just going to throw in to be determined. I mean, that's just to demonstrate you can have as many uh, when statements as you want, and the else is a catch-all for everything that does not meet those specifications. So then I'm selecting out the internet order quantity and the sales quantity uh, that I just defined in a tuple and then pulling in my countries to see the results. So we'll execute here and you can see what happens. We see that Australia surpassed my expectations, Canada below my expectations, France met, and then the remainder are to be determined just for, again, just for the sake of showing that we can put in another value in there. But you can see what's happening here. I need to know what the actual values are if I'm using a simple case statement. For example, you see here, I had to actually run the query first to find out that Australia had 6,194 and that Canada had 3,312 and so on and so on and so on. If I did not know those values, then the simple case does not work. It needs a specific and I guess for all intents and purposes, uh, static value to compare against. So what I can show you, I guess, to uh, further clarify that, if I do something like greater than a particular value, it immediately pops up with an error. And if I try to execute this, it just fails. Uh, similarly, I can't do the greater than or equals to or anything along those lines in terms of comparison. So the logic is quite limited when you use the simple case statement. You need to know exactly a value, uh, a specific value to test against. So when I do put in the actual static values, everything works fine. But as I mentioned, I need to know what they are exactly before I can issue the tests. 
Now, on the plus side, the processing that's usually involved with case statements is generally a little bit lighter, uh, so they tend to perform better. So it is recommended that you use simple case statements wherever possible, provided you do know exactly the value that you're testing for. Uh, that way you eliminate uh, a little bit of processing and you also only have to issue the measure against which you are testing a single time. So we'll see the difference again in the upcoming demonstration when we look at the searched case statement. But again, there are certainly are benefits. Uh, the logic is fairly simple. When it's this value, do that. When it's this value, do that. And they typically tend to perform better. So again, that's the simple case statement. We'll have a look at the searched in the next demonstration.